Pisces, it's Marie Elaine and I have a special oracle reading for June 2014 and I'm going to call upon the angel um, feather cards but I always start at Aries and work my way through the zodiac because you know Aries is the beginning and we Pisces are always at the end and because you've been so patient and had to wait for me to do 11 other recordings I'm going to do a special bonus card Okay, and oh, before I start, I just want to share with you that I'm about to launch a um, an e-course. It starts in June, and it's the 30 Magical Days of Transformation. Now, this all came to be back in March, where I, um, with some beautiful women, created this um, resistance free month of March, and it went so well, and I saw so much change for the better with some of these ladies. I've decided to actually turn it into something that I can offer other people as well. So if you're interested and want to know more about it, please, I'll leave some details at the end of this video and um, just reach out. I'm happy to share with you, but it is, I just love it. I love doing it. I like sharing this information. And I think that if you're drawn to it, you will actually find a lot of magic in it as well. Because you're Pisces, you're magic. Of course I'm going to say that. Um, no, no, you really are. And you're very spiritual and you're very intuitive and you're very peaceful. And But sometimes, Pisces, you know, the two fish swimming in the opposite direction, we can actually go towards those murky waters. Because I've been there. I know what it's like. And, you know, I just want to show you the way to the clear pond. And the view in there is just magic. It really is seeing mermaids and other beautiful fishies and all sorts of delights that you know we can't see when we're swimming in that murky brown yucky water okay so what have we got here first card oh there we go there's a blessing for your home the angels just want me to pass that on that you know they're there they're they're blowing kisses and they're sending lots of blessings to you so here's the, the next card we have is oh here we go this is pretty exciting too um a new work venture so um if you're looking for a little bit of um, change, this card is going to say, yep, there's something there. But think about it. Put it out there to the universe. What would you like to do? Always do what feels right for you. Always go with what's in your heart. And I know that sounds a bit flimsy for a lot of people, but you know, you know, you really do know what you like to do. And it usually starts off with a passion. So I'll just leave, let you think about that one. And the fourth card I have here. Oh, cool. Two hearts sealed as one. So um, if you're single, yeah, um, let's see. Maybe someone you just bump into one day at the supermarket or the petrol station or when you least expect it. And it could be something so, here's my word again, magical. It will sweep you off your feet. And I know we're very romantic souls. So, you know, awesome. Enjoy that one. Let me know who you bump into. Love to hear. And... Okay, this card is also asking me to share with you that if you've got a few words stuck in here, it's time to let them out. Now, if they're words that um, words of anger or frustration, can you write them down and then tear that letter up just to get them out? But if it's something that you've been putting off saying um, from a loving place, tell the person that you want to share it with, and you could be pleasantly surprised that they might be feeling the same way. So depending on what the topic is, choose which way you deliver it. But like I said, I'm not a great fan of sharing negative, hurtful, you know, unconstructive stories. So I don't think that's going to help anyone. But if you need to get it out, write it out. And then just burn it, tear it up, do whatever you need to do to release it. And here's our beautiful bonus card. Thank you for being so patient. And oh my gosh, check out this angel. <laughs> He's awesome. Um, nice abs there. So this angel, um, Michael, Archangel Michael, wow, he's here to help us with our strength. Oh, look at that beautiful light that's coming out of the top of his head, around his head, that aura. Um, I think this card is wanting me to share with you, you know, to pass over any desires, any dreams, any, um, any burdens. That's what's just dropped into my head. Release them. Whatever it may be, give it to, uh, to Michael and he'll make sure he'll take care of it in the most appropriate way. If it's um, a burden you want to release, he'll just take it out of this universe for you. If it's something that you want brought in, he's the messenger, he's happy to bring it in. Yes, please. 
Okay, so enjoy June. Please give me some feedback. I'd love to hear from you how your month uh, panned out. And let me know who, um, how you bumped into that beautiful two hearts, the oldest one person. And I'll let you know in July too. Have fun everyone and I'll share another message with you in July. Bye. Mm -hmm.